news in the world of Valheim today. Please excuse my voice as I am sick and have a sore throat, but I'm going to use all the throat spray and get through this because there's some good info here and some interesting info here. We have a patch out in public tests. It's not out to the actual public yet. I don't think this one is going to take long to get there, even though it does have quite a few good things in it. So for the detailed patch notes, balancing and tweaks. Miss Land's armor and shield recipes rebalanced and durability increased. This is good. It needed a little bit of rebalancing and some things were super OP. So we have to check on that. Staffs have rebalanced recipes and stats. Here's one we're all keeping an eye on, ballista tweaks. Increased fire rate, sound effects added when shooting and losing sight of targets. Tweaked targeting behavior. You may have seen that I did a video on this and linked to a survey that Valheim programmer J Chase Mars was doing on Twitter. These things are a big source of conversation in the game because they target players indiscriminately. They've been doing some tweaks to it already, but the big question is, is this thing going to keep shooting the people that built it and all of the players? And the answer for right now is yes, it is. So even though I just built this, if I run out in front of it, yeah, it's trying to kill me. Ow. If they have increased the fire rate, it says it'll lose sight of things that it's going after. But if you're one of the ones that was hoping for maybe the ward option to be added to this, sorry. There's no ward option added to this right now. If I throw a y'all really up high, it still doesn't look like it's shooting things that are super up high. Although the y'all will still shoot it. And that is one of the changes as well. The y'all only shoots once now instead of twice. But we'll get to that in a second. The ballista ammo recipes are cheaper. Black metal missiles times 20 since you can do multiple at a time now. Take 10 wood and only one black metal. The wooden ones take 5 core wood and 2 leathers. Maybe they're thinking this is to compensate for the fact that it's constantly throwing out missiles and wasting resources if it's shooting at yourself. When asked on Twitter what was changed by Ecto, Valheim replied cooldowns, turn rate, and some sound effects. It'll still target from the creature, so you need to continue to be careful around it. Yeah, like, don't put any pets around it because it'll kill them too. Lots of people are not happy with how this thing is working, and a lot of people, I think, are just going to not build it. Here's a really good one. Miss Land Seeker event tweaked. It will no longer trigger in meadows, swamps, mountains, or ocean. It will no longer spawn Seeker soldiers, and the amount of Seekers and Broods has been rebalanced. This event was insane. And people that spent hours and hours and hours, like, massive amounts of time making a beautiful build and other biomes to have it just destroyed, I could see it making somebody rage quit. So that's a really good adjustment. Seeker AI tweaks, they should now circulate a bit and not be on the player constantly to give them some time to catch their breath. I guess enough people thought that these were too difficult and so they have brought the difficulty down some. Seeker soldier and y'all spawn rate tweaked was spawning quite frequently earlier. It's now more similar to troll spawns in the Black Forest. So although things are going to be really difficult still in the Mistlands, it's not going to be as difficult since mobs aren't going to be spawning as often. Comfort from different carpets no longer stacks. I don't understand why they did this. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be ticked about that. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't hear anything about that coming in advance, so I don't know what the reasoning is. Like we saw before, the y'all now only shoots one projectile at a time instead of two. I mean, I kind of like that because getting shot twice in a row by a y'all, that's serious. Hair running speed slightly decreased. I think this is a good one too. Those hairs were so freaking hard to catch one. Oh my gracious. I think that's a good change. Tetra Bait uses Fenring Trophy instead of Ulf Trophy. So I guess there's a little bit of debate around this one going on. They did Fenring instead of Ulf because they're thinking that Fenring is easier to get than Ulf Trophies and they respawn whereas Ulf Trophies don't. I can see that logic and that they do respawn, 
but I always get way more Ulv trophies than I do Fenring trophies. I mean, like, I don't, I don't think I have ever even gotten five Fenring trophies in a single playthrough that I've done of the game, and I've done quite a few. So, I don't know. What do y'all think about that? Fish in mountain caves will respawn correctly and small additional lake added. Ooh, I want to see the small additional lake. Let me know when you find one. I want to see what it looks like. Tuna also always take ocean bait since it is in ocean as well. Makes sense. Okay. Fixes and improvements. Better fix when walking left with hoe or hammer equipped. Fix the animation issues on dual knives idle and black idle. Fix the lighting issue with fog and black forest. Fix an error while viewing a character in the main menu that has a fish in its inventory. I don't know what that was, but I hope it showed the fish on the person's head because that would be funny. Fix an issue that could cause the misland's boss to escape. Sorry, your grace. That would suck. Spawn skeletons will unsummon correctly after rejoining a network game. Find console command shows absolute position rather than offset. Handy. Mating hands no longer sound like boars. <laughs> Correct effects will now be shown when placing marble bench at table. Music will fade out correctly for dungeons and locations when continuous music is turned off. Some locations that had looping music will now only be played once. Various networking changes to solve connectivity issues when using crossplay. Sounds, music, animations, and textures have been optimized to save around 485 megabytes of RAM and to decrease the download size of Valheim by approximately 420 megabytes. This is nice. They're already starting to do a lot of optimization and stuff. I mean, the game isn't that big to start with, and they've knocked it down by, like, around 20-something percent. And, of course, they'll continue doing more optimizations in the future. One of the things I forgot to mention back on the optimization and stuff of the staffs for the dead razor they have changed this from needing a rancid remains trophy to needing four skeleton trophies what do you think about this there was a little bit of a debate going on in people bum stream earlier today about whether this is a good thing or not i mean having it do need the rancid remains to be able to craft it made it really unique but of course that was super hard because there's only like a 10 percent chance of getting those but now it's not quite as special not quite as unique should they have just made rancid remains a little bit easier to get or should they left it alone another thing that I don't, I haven't seen mentioned as much that I wanted to mention too, which isn't really on this update, but just in general. With the Mistlands update, they changed how crypts are spawning in the swamps. And they're way, way significantly less common than they used to be. Because the devs decided that they were way too high. And so, what do you guys think about this? I mean, yeah, you can get iron in the mistlands now but getting iron before that to be able to be ready to face the mountains and the plains it's probably going to take a lot longer you're going to have to do a lot more exploring which i'm sure is part of what their intention is for it because they like you to get out and explore and not do everything in one place i don't know about this one though because after you kind of get used to doing the crypts in the swamp it gets kind of monotonous anyway so Making them even harder to find? I'm not sure. Is that going to add more spice into the game? That you're getting out more to do them? Or is it just going to make it annoying? Let me know what you think down below. Likes and comments do really help the video spread to more people. And make sure that you subscribe for all things Valheim. Special thanks to all of my channel supporters. I cannot keep doing this without you guys. Until next time, happy gaming!